Hi, my name is Tracy Custer. I'm at the 2013 Skyhounds Disc Dog World Championships. Um, I'm a dog trainer at Purina Farms, and probably my best accomplishment is 2007 and 2009 USDDN Freestyle World, Ch world Champion. <laughs> I got into the sport actually because my husband and I had two kind of crazy Australian shepherds. Um, I had never thrown a disc before and he was doing some disc golf just for fun and the dogs would track and chase the disc. So we kind of you know bought like a floppy flyer at uh, PetSmart and kind of got into it from there. So um, when I got into rescuing dogs about 2001, it kind of became a good fit. A lot of the dogs we were finding were uh, really high energy, high drive dogs that nobody else wanted to deal with. So we were able to kind of put the two together. Um, in the beginning, I stunk. I was terrible at throwing. I'm a soccer player, so I have no upper body skill whatsoever. <laughs> And uh, so I had to practice a lot, like go out to the park on my lunch break with 100 frisbees and just throw, throw, throw. Um, and eventually got fairly proficient at throwing. So that's how we got into the sport. After I started competing a little bit, I had some success in competition. And a, a gentleman that is from Cincinnati, Ohio as well, he did shows for a living for the Incredible Dog Team, for some other um, performers. And he knew that I had um, been competing, so he invited me to come and help him out out a few times. So it started very part-time and then it became more full-time um, and then we kind of built a relationship. We worked together for about two years on the road traveling, performing for fairs, festivals, that sort of thing. And then luckily he got the job at Purina and he brought me in to help him out. So I do owe my Purina Farms job to my boss John Casey. <laughs> I started working at Purina in 2008, so it's this is my five-year anniversary with them, and it's a it's a great job because it's very similar to what we did on the road performing, but you have much more stability. Um, we work for a large corporation, we get benefits, all the good stuff that comes along with a, a big job like that. Um, we do about 550 shows a year. Um, shows usually at the farm, um, but we also do some outreach programs. We do a school show program where we go into the schools, we teach kids about pet responsibility, um, how to prevent dog bites, how to approach a dog they don't know, and then we spice up you know, the shows with a little bit of frisbee dog entertainment. So that's how um, we operate at the farm. It's a lot of fun, but it, it's, um, it's hard work because your job comes home with you every night. We have 17 dogs, uh, about 10 of them work in the shows. Um, and we need that many uh, to keep them fresh. We do not only frisbee, but we do agility and dock diving as well. So by doing that, we can alternate the dogs so they're doing something different every day and it, it, it just keeps it more fun for them. It doesn't burn them out physically or mentally. Um, I would say when I first started, the people that I, I don't know that I would call them mentors as much that I, I didn't really have a relationship with anybody. Where I played, there was nobody. Um, but John, and he was on the road doing shows all the time. Uh, but the people I really admired and looked up to were Gail Mirabella, um, Chuck Middleton was one that I really um, admired and enjoyed watching. David Boots was another one. Um, and since then, you know, I've developed so many relationships with players over the years. Um, you know, of course, John, my boss, John Casey, is, is a big influence on, on me and what I do with my dogs. Um, gosh, I can't think of, it's like, put me on the spot, I can't think of anybody else. <laughs> you have to find works for you. So some people, getting a dog from a breeder is a better option, but I always tell people at least look out there, see what's out there, because you can find some really incredible dogs, and they don't all come with baggage like people think they do. So, you know, not, not just check shelters, but also check breed rescues as well. Like I said, Probably 99% of the dogs we use are from rescue. Um, we like to say at Purina Farms, homeless to high flying. It's kind of our motto for the dogs. Uh, and a great resource is actually petfinder.com, which is a giant search engine. It's nationwide. You punch in your zip code and what you're looking for, breed, gender, age, and it will kind of give you a, a you know, a, a listing of dogs as far as their proximity to you. So you can kind of go out and you can also search rescue groups and shelters in your area. Um, and so that's a great resource.